Hi there, my name is Dan McPherson and I'm a senior technical writer for Red Hat's customer content services. This video is part of a series on Red Hat Satellite 6 and focuses on providing a brief overview of the Satellite 6 architecture. Red Hat Satellite 6 is an application that controls the life cycle of your systems. This includes provisioning, subscription, configuration, and management of systems in your local network. It is designed to provide system administrators with several features. You can import content either from Red Hat repositories or custom repositories. You can apply packages from those repositories to different stages in the application lifecycle. You can provision systems at specific stages in the application lifecycle so that they consume only those particular packages. You can configure these systems using Puppet modules. You can manage your systems and view information about the hardware and software. And you can view reports and monitor your systems at all stages in the process. This is a basic diagram that outlines the general topology of Red Hat Satellite Server. As you can see, the main server imports various forms of content to help provision and configure your systems. This includes repositories, puppet modules, and other forms of content. This content is used in the application lifecycle, which includes features such as provisioning, subscription management, configuration, and monitoring. Satellite 6 can also manage the lifecycle across multiple organizations. Another part of Satellite 6's infrastructure is what's known as a capsule. A capsule server provides certain services to a particular group of systems for the purposes of provisioning and configuration. These services include package management, DHCP, DNS, TFTP, and Puppet Master and Puppet Certificate Authority. These services are generally used during the provisioning process, as systems will use the Pixie Boot service to access Satellite 6's resources. The Satellite 6 server itself contains an internal capsule, but you can create other capsules to service different networks. For example, you might have a capsule servicing a data center in New York, and another capsule servicing a data center in London. Satellite 6 can then provision machines from either location, and these machines will boot using the capsule in their respective locations. It's worth noting that these features apply to bare metal machines and also cloud providers such as private cloud providers including OpenStack and Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization and public cloud providers such as EC2. As part of the provisioning process, Satellite 6 provides a discovery service for bare metal machines. This means that blank bare metal machines can pixie boot over a network and automatically register as potential hosts for provisioning. For this video series, I'm using a simple three system setup on an isolated network using 192.168.200.0/24 for the IP range. One system will be the satellite server at 192.168.200.2. A second system will be used for bare metal testing. The third system is my laptop, which I'll use to interact with the satellite server and also to act as a gateway to Red Hat's external network. It will use 192.168.200.1. This concludes the overview of Satellite 6. The next few videos aim to demonstrate more specific scenarios for Satellite 6's installation and usage. Thanks for watching.